Have you ever thought about how money and words can control what we do and think? There have been numerous examples and stories throughout history that depict a world where language and money are used as a way to control the masses. It may seem like an odd pairing, but when you delve deeper, you'll realize just how intertwined they truly are. In George Orwell's book, 1984, he painted a bleak picture of a dystopian society where Big Brother controlled every aspect of people's lives, including their language. Let's meditate on Orwell's 1984 and Bitcoin's role as a tool to combat oppression of thoughts, words, and even the expression of value. How does money relate to language? Well, language is a tool of communication and money, among other things, is a medium of exchange. Both are vital for human interaction and societal growth. Without either, we have no individual voice to express our wants and desires. In 1984, the government manipulated language as a tool of control. Newspeak, the official language, was a way to limit people's thoughts and expressions, deliberately reducing the range of thought. It's a chilling example of how powerful entities can alter our reality. Just as Newspeak controlled thought, traditional currencies control the economy. They can be exploited by central banks or governments, leading to economic instability and inequality. Similar to Orwell's concept of doublethink, the state forces citizens to accept contradictory beliefs. Traditional economies often require us to accept the belief others have the right to tell you how to value goods and services. They force the false narrative that inflation is inevitable, ultimately leading to a continual devaluation of your time and efforts. When people aren't free to share their thoughts and feelings, the shared subconscious becomes less robust. And this fragility in collective thought is what leads to weak men creating hard times. CBDCs have the ability to implement a social credit score, which is where governments can track and analyze an individual's behavior, such as financial transactions and social interactions, to assign them a score that affects their access to services, privileges, and opportunities. This begs the question, whose morals are being expressed? Yours? This is where Bitcoin steps in, providing a less malleable form of currency. Bitcoin, as opposed to the authoritarian's use of fiat, is decentralized and offers everyone the freedom to express themselves within the confines of the voluntarily agreed upon code. Because the network isn't reliant on intermediaries, no single entity can manipulate the currency or control the flow of information. Just as Newspeak limited freedom of thought, control over money limits economic freedom. But remember, Bitcoin offers a way out, a new language of economic expression that empowers each one of us. 1984's Big Brother tricked people into believing 2 plus 2 equals 5. In essence, Bitcoin gives power back to the people, allowing us all to see the truth, to realize 2 plus 2 will always equal 4. Imagine a world where everyone has equal access to financial services, regardless of their location or socioeconomic status. A world where censorship is no longer a threat. Bitcoin has the potential to create this reality. People can express themselves without fear of being canceled, either for words, thoughts, or monetary expressions of value. By embracing Bitcoin the asset and Bitcoin the network, we can break free from the chains of fiat authoritarianism and reclaim our freedom. So what can you do to be part of this movement? It's simple. Read 1984 to see how close we really are to its portrayal of a dystopian totalitarian state. Educate yourself about Bitcoin and its underlying technology. Spread the word to your friends, family, and community. Go to local Bitcoin meetups. Support businesses that accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. Together, we can build a future where money and language are tools for empowerment, rather than instruments of control. If Big Brother can limit your use of both language and money, it has absolute control over your entire existential expression. If you want to continue down the path to 1984, just keep doing what you're doing. But even if a sliver of this resonates with you, you should consider listening to Satoshi.